Hey guys, hey, welcome back to another video. I am Kian Aldria, and today we're going on the road again. Let's go. thing about Vancouver they have so many places oh, that you can just walk around enjoy the view also look at that and run over there as a person that are doing exercising I'm just walking around It is 8 a.m. Enjoy the view. This is what Vancouver looks like most mornings. It probably gets sunny like sometime around midday. But if you are someone who you like to wake up in the morning and see the bright sunshine, mm, Vancouver is not for you. It is not, BC would not be for you. And most days it is raining. Woo! <laughs> A dog came by to say hi. So I took a C bus, a thing that you've seen out there. That's what I took to get here. It took like 15 minutes. And yeah, this is the view. This is the view. Let's go. So I got this question more than once. Like people asking, like they want to come to Canada, but they realize, you know, it is a lot of money, and for schools in terms of the price, the minimum I think, if I compare to based on what I get, they are seeing for like ten thousand something minimum. Well. My response to that is that there are a lot of videos out there telling you, you know, the cost for tuition with some schools. And I would say, I always say do your own research because even though they make it seem like, hey, you have this school here that is $5,000 or something like that. At the end of the day, when you actually sign up and decide to go to that school, all sorts of other fees um come into that that you didn't plan for that you didn't budget for so be prepared even if it is five so be prepared to spend ten for me when i was doing my research i realized the cheapest schools for a lot of these schools there are a lot of scholarships and sometimes you just need to have like the first year the first money Otherwise, you know your goal, aim towards it, and then you come here and you plan and get a scholarship or you try to get a scholarship because some of these schools has a lot of scholarships, like even University of Saskatchewan and University of Regina, those schools, they have a lot of scholarships. 
and there are schools out in Alberta further or community colleges check on those places you can get more affordable schools in those areas but my thing is you can tell I am afraid of the cold look at me look at me out here right I'm afraid of the cold and it is like probably about 10 degrees out today and I am this padded up right so if you're someone who is not afraid of the cold and you can manage it trust me you can but everybody's situation different if you're in a position where your pack it that low but you want to come do not give up butter up and go you get me there's even the school in PEI Prince Edward Island and they're starting to have a good PNP pathway cheap 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 like I think it was like four or something it depends on what you're studying though but I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a video on that like just some cheap prices of schools and you can look into it just to give you some more idea and I'll also do the pros and the cons of that and I'll list the provinces um, if you want to see that then comment comment and let me know and because I've been getting questions about that like where are the cheap schools because let's be honest with a currency like the Jamaican dollars when you think about paying 11,000 per year that's more than a million in Jamaica how many persons really have that and you don't want to rob the bank or have to take certain loans to get here but if that's what you have to do do it it will pay off so yes i'm going to give you a list of schools that are affordable right but you also have to understand that this is just based on like general areas like probably i'll try to i'm trying to do like business management areas where everyone who has a degree can do but if you're coming here, you need to take it seriously to do your own research. Know the field that you are in. Know if you want to do something general or if you need to specialize. Because, yeah, you went to school. When you finish, you need to get a job in the knock code. And if you do something that doesn't make any sense or where you can't get a job in a knock, then it would have made no sense. You know what I mean? So you have to do your own research. You have to know what you want. And if you're someone who is not looking to do something general in business or something like that, when I list all these schools, then it means you need to go do that research yourself. You have to take this journey serious. When you get here, there's no one here who's going to help you hold your hand and walk with you. No, it's it's just you against the world trust me you against the world so take the list look into it look if these are something that will be beneficial for you in terms of the schools but if it's not line in line with your career path i would advise do your own research look look harder do your own with your other research because it's up to you at the end of the day. Oh my god. I think I just stepped in a bit of pool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you're looking for somewhere that has a lot of history, like a rich history, you can definitely come here. so on my walk i found this like it was a a real shop company and real estate company and like they show you if you notice like let me see like you see the listing and you see the price and they show, show you what's gone what's sold i think that's cool like it's just like right there like on a form like a tablet form that's cool very cool 
I've been walking from all the way down there. Remember the port? Oh, let me zoom in. Ooh. All the way down there. Um, up this hill. Still going. Because I'm trying to get to a Starbucks that had like 4.9, 4.9 stars. And they also allow dine in. And because I've been on the road from morning, a lot of construction going on. Because I've been on the road from morning, you know, I don't want to go to a Starbucks that is just take away. So I need a dine in. So let's go. Not Vancouver. And my head was underwater They caught me weak Like I'm not just somebody's daughter Could have been a nightmare But it felt like they were right Oh, Hmm. It's a nice little park. Uh, seats are out. Hmm. It's just so nice, the view, the fresh air. Let me show you what I'm having for lunch slash breakfast. Yeah, so it's really salad. The curry chicken over here. Nobody wants to see my food. Thank <laughs> you.